Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. We're going to do a message for those of us who have been seeing 222 a lot lately. Um, so let's see. What does Spirit, what is Spirit trying to tell you with the 222 that you have been seeing? Wow, <laughs> we've got an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles out right next to one each other. This is coming in after someone had to walk away from a situation, a situation where someone didn't trust someone anymore. This person here hurt this person too many times. There's a lot of aces out, ace of swords here. Someone's had clarity about this situation. Yeah, judgment out right next to queen of swords. Someone's trying to break free of, um, I see financial issues here. I see someone trying to get their financial issues right after kind of sitting around, um, you know, why ever. Someone spent a lot of time in a um, Five of Pentacles energy, specifically on that, like, you know, he's, he's like, I'll do, I'll accept pennies for very little. Um, just why, why ever that is. But there's a lot of clarity out here over um, this situation. This, this is the masculine who hurt a feminine here. And she has cut him off and is going through a transformation also incidentally um, like the separation here is bringing in a huge transformation for her. And this male, this masculine is having the judgment come in. He wants to change his ways after all of the, um, I'm mostly getting co competitive. Not just fighting, but this person was very competitive. This person didn't want to accept or look at the situation for what it was. Specifically around to how they handled their stability and their finances. They were kind of keeping themselves stuck. Um, being dishonest with themselves and the people around them about their finances. So obviously that's part of what caused a lot of problems here and it is affecting, you know, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles out here and the Ace of Swords. So this person has had clarity about this situation that their finances have caused a lot of um, sort of disagreements or is part of how this person hurt um, this Queen of Swords here who has cut him off. But this person loves you. They definitely love you. They want a loving, you know, like I said, it's, there's an Ace of Cups next to the Ace of Pentacles. Um, they're wanting to right this wrong. <clears throat> they're wanting to do things differently with the Judgment card. 
they're kind of blowing the horn on themselves here. I also see them, you know, very privately facing themselves. They're looking at, you know, they're, they're, they're facing their own mistakes. Maybe this is something they didn't want to look at before. They are looking at it now. They're looking at what did I do to cause this here? There's a lot of balance and a lot of healing coming in. Yeah, there's a lot of stuck. It's like a stuck energy for this person. But the star here, so this this situation is very much being guided and taken into a different direction. This star is underneath this Ace of Swords, which is, you know, spirit. This person has asked spirit to help them um, recover this situation. And spirit has brought them in more clarity and a beginning to heal. King of Cups. This person is learning to heal and balance their emotions. feel a lot of heartbreak about they feel they're really upset about what happened so if you were wondering if this sounds like something that may have happened to you you'll know it by the fact that finances had to do um was a big issue here and if you were wondering is this person really feeling anything over this situation they, this is saying yes. This person has a lot of heartbreak going on right now. Um, really in their feelings. Let's see. What else can we see about this? Show us more about this situation. So with the twos... A lot of times twos show up about partnership, but the thing with the partnership is it can be partnership anywhere. It can be, it can be a spiritual union coming together. It can be a relationship coming together. It can literally be teamwork. You know, two is my number for teamwork. It can be teamwork with spirit is going on behind the scenes. So that's why this reading is more, um, obviously there is a team that obviously this person is working with spirit and it's over um some sort of relationship that ended that they cared a lot about <clears throat> someone here is getting a lot of messages while they're sleeping and dreaming learning to love themselves better healing Yes, transformation. I get the feeling this is both of you. 
the feminine and masculine in this situation are both um, trying to learn to love themselves. You're both dreaming of one another and getting messages. You're both going through a spiritual trans transformation. And this situation is going to... This situation is bringing in spiritual abundance. Yeah, that kind of means, you know, whatever you were worrying about before... Wow, I just dropped half the deck on the floor. <laughs> um, whatever you were worrying about before, that's about to be over with. This situation is resolving, you know, with the star card here and the spiritual abundance. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these. The yin yang oracle. Be open to receiving. This spiritual abundance is coming in for the both of you already because of this transformation. Um, so go ahead and place yourself in a receiving state. And that is going to help bring all of this in for you. Yeah, ancestor guides. This situation here is being closely... I mean, you can tell that anyway because of <clears throat> so many, you know, of the major cards out here, like the star, the hanged man, the judgment card. Wow. I see a masculine coming in with an apology. Matter of fact, the more you find yourself forgiving of this, of these circumstances and what happened here, the more this masculine, it's, it's like a, a pull. Um, you know, I know a lot of us don't always know what to think of the quote unquote twin flame journey, um, twin flame unions, connections. It's really just a, a spiritual, it's something that was agreed upon before you, you know, before you were born and um, how that works a lot of times is an energetic pull. There is an energetic pull between these two people and that's what's funny here, what I'm picking up really from this. That's how that works is the more that the feminine who got hurt here practices forgiveness for him and is feeling forgiveness for him the more he wants to come in and apologize it's it's like you're pulling on one another he can feel the forgiveness and it gives him the confidence to come in and say that he's sorry for what he did yeah again right this overcoming whatever this situation here is is going to bring in lots and lots of gifts from the universe a celebration abundance finances anything anything you can imagine there's going to be a major change in this connection around um possibly you know autumn time harvest time that's when you would harvest your garden these two are extremely attracted to each other there's a lot of passion here the more that you stay present and grounded the more it actually helps you receive clarity over this situation um, both parties here, third eye is opening. That's, that's, you know, really directly related to your intuition. So actually the more, even though it seems like you get the clarity when you're up in your head thinking about stuff, the clarity actually comes when you're grounded and you're in the present moment. So let's see what else else i don't know why i'm gonna go for these 
Don't know why it's just there. Whatever happened here, there's a compromise coming in and clear communication. This goes along with what I was saying. This, if you believe card, goes along with that like energetic pull because it says you're ready. You're ready came out right next to it. The more you believe, the more you believe you're ready, the more this person believes they're ready. Um, and that's going to help bring in this forward movement of balancing. Don't stop. They're saying whatever you're doing right now, you just keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you've been doing lately with yourself, it's working. It's helping move things along the way they should move along. Don't stop. I'm also hearing don't give up on this person. Yeah. Trust. Trust what has happened and trust what is going on. And even if it's difficult, work on your trust with this person. This is my big card here for I don't trust you anymore. The Ten of Swords in this deck. You know, usually the Ten of Swords in the standard decks looks like a giant backstabbing, which is this is kind of like the afterthought after that. You know what? You stabbed me that many times. I've got a whole bag to protect myself against you. I've got a whole bag of swords. So this, this, there really needs um, a new, newfound trust in this relationship and in this situation. But remember, the star was out here and the spiritual abundance. So. Yeah, we have forgiveness again. So the more you focus on your forgiveness, the more this situation will improve. I am hearing something, something to do with, um, if something to do with, for one thing, don't go into it the way you've gone into it before. And I know I've said that before, so. That's not new, but also do not let this person, if you start to smell or sense the red flags from last time, pull back, just pull back. They're saying the situation will improve and the forgiveness and the trust can happen. It might happen. It's going to take some time with as many swords as this person had, you know, put in their back and the amount of distrust here. Um, don't expect things. Yeah, we've got swift movement coming in. Don't expect things to happen. Goodness gracious. We have forgiveness again. Forgiveness is out three times. Okay. Um, it is causing a running and chasing scenario here. 
So, someone here, I mean, it is hard. But if you really think you want to rekindle with this person, you're going to have to start overcoming and healing and forgiving for all these ten swords that got put in your back. <laughs> um, I know that's not always easy, but that's very obvious here. You have forgiveness on the board three times. The more you forgive this person, the more it helps them feel energetically comfortable to come back towards you so that's definitely something you need to yeah work on here also with the trust out with the trust out right next to this one i'm getting to the more you work on your forgiveness for the things that have happened here the more it will help you open up to being able to trust this person again um, sometimes forgiveness comes from a place of understanding so it's kind of like what can you do to try and understand and accept how and why things happen the way they happen um, and that's usually the first step into trying to learn to forgive someone and there's no pressure to take someone back on before you're ready so really when this person comes in with all three of these aces up here the ball is in your court so you can go in when you're ready you can pull back when you need it's there's there's no um there's no set guidelines for that you can always honor your own cycles with that 